Prophet Muhammad a mercy to the world. The symbol of love and blessings. When he spoke, those present would lower their heads as though birds had landed upon them. And when he fell silent, they would speak and they would not vie with each other to speak. Urwa ibn Mas'ud al Thaqafi described the depth of the Muslims' love for the Apostle of God and their commitment and obedience to him. When the Quraysh sent him as a legatee regarding the question of the peace treaty of Al Hudaybiyah, Urwa said, addressing the Quraysh, O people, I swear by Almighty God that I have been in the presence of kings, and I have been in the presence of the Caesar of Rome, and the Khosrow of Persia, and the Negus of Abyssinia. But by God, I have never seen a king whose companions revere him as the companions of Muhammad revere him. When he orders them, they make haste to implement his orders. When he performs his ablutions, they almost kill each other, seeking blessings from the water of the... When he speaks, they lower their voices, and they do not stare at him out of reverence. Anas ibn Malik relates, I saw the Apostle of God when the barber was cutting his hair. His companions had surrounded him, seeking to catch his hair in their hands as it fell. It is related that Imam al-Ridha, peace be upon him, said, I heard my father relating from his father, from my great-grandfather, from Jabir ibn Abdullah al Ansari, who said, The Apostle of God was in a tent of leather. I saw Bilal of Abyssinia, who had just come out with the leftover water from the Apostle of God's ablutions. The people rushed to him, and whoever succeeded in getting some would wipe his face with it. Whoever did not get any would take it from the hand of his companion and wipe his face with it. Anas ibn Malik said, I served the Apostle of God for some years, and he never swore at me ever, nor did he ever hit me, nor did he rebuke me, nor did he frown in my face, nor did he reproach me for being tardy in carrying out his orders. If any one of his wives reproached me, he would say, let him be, for if a thing is ordained, it will be.